Hey, what's up YouTube? Jimmy Latu here and welcome to The Forest. This is a new survival horror game that was released on Steam uh, just yesterday, about 5 o'clock uh, GMT in the UK where I'm from. Um, I haven't played any of it yet myself, so I thought I'd dive into this. This is still the public alpha version, as you can see here, version 0.01. Um, I've been very excited about this game. It looks fucking amazing. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are. Hello, son. I think you're my son. I hope I haven't kidnapped you. What's on TV? Necklace? Oh, no. Uh, what the... Oh, God. Oh shit. You are the calmest little boy ever. Oh god. This is going well. Oh hi! Um little help? Oh, no, oh, no, you know what? Cool, it's fine. Just, hey! Come back! You stole my son! Or, allegedly, my son. Maybe he stole the kid that I stole. Maybe he stole him back. Oh, lovely. Covered in blood. Okay, I guess that's, uh, ooh, goodies! Goody, goody, goodies. Pick up some of these things. Um, oh god, it's a bit laggy. I am aware that there is an issue with memory leak in this game. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a thing, I guess. Oh, it's a foot. <laughs> cool. Now, I don't have the greatest specs ever, but I can usually run things um, pretty good, providing I lower the settings a little bit. Uh, this obviously being an alpha build is not probably not properly optimized, but still. Oh, I have an axe. Hello. You wanna ask me a question? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna stick around here to be honest. Looks ominous. Ooh. What's that? There are some things. I don't know what I just picked up. Do we have an inventory? Yes. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, we've got a lighter. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, it's a big lighter. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, okay, so L does the lighter. That's the quick. Okay. Um, so, I guess... You know what? Give me one second. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, one thing about this, because it is um, an alpha build, uh, there isn't really a save mechanic at all. Oh, hello. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a thing that happens. So, oh god. You see that? Give me a rock. So what happened was is that I lowered all my settings, um, launched the game. Well, I lowered all my settings in the in-game menu, launched the game. Um, had a quick look and realised they'd all been reset. So I've just gone back in. I've just lowered all my settings again, and it's running a bit better. It doesn't look half as nice, but I've gained about five FPS, which, to be honest, is making a lot of difference. Um, I kind of... Berries! <coughs> what the... What the fuck? What the fuck was that about? Is that an episode? Uh, oh, what's that say? Learn the basics of survival, press B. Okay. Oh, this is really cool! Oh, look at this! Oh, that's also... Oh, no, we have popping. I just saw trees appear. Oh, that's really cool. 
Um, obviously, we're going to probably have to... I'm getting a bit of a rust vibe. So, I'm guessing we're probably going to have to gather materials and such. But these, can we get... Yes. Rock added. Uh, I'm guessing we probably need rocks. And whatever these flowers are. Maybe it's medicine. Uh, uh, the woods are creeping me out. So, I am going to... Oh, hello. It's a boat. And another dead guy. <laughs> that is not going to get old anytime soon. Oh, it's just a thing happened. Um, okay, so what's this? Oh, it's some, a dead shark. Give me your meat. No, nothing. Oh, well, maybe that's kind of a warning. Stay out of the water. <laughs> Good God. Uh, okay, so let's see. See, there's a lot of what look like saplings. There's also people moving in the distance. Oh, good God. Don't like it. Oh! Mana from heaven? The suitcases just fell out of the sky. Alright, so, give me it. I don't like that. There was movement in the forest. I have an axe. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, I have a tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, game of the year. Could throw a tennis ball. Got another one. Oh, why are those people bringing tennis balls? Is that a holiday essential now? Did I just pick up a flashlight? I did! Cool. Helpful. Right, so... Okay, so L is general light. Okay, that's good. I love how I'm just breaking into these suitcases. Like, oh, well... You know, I guess the person that lost them doesn't need them anymore. Um, All these people seem to have been to New York as well. There's a statue in there. There's one in there as well. <laughs> Were we on a flight from New York? Everyone was a tourist? Who knows. What's in here? Another tennis ball. I wonder if I can throw it at things. Hang on. Oh god! Hello? Um. Um. No. Goodbye. I don't have any interest in anything uh, that you have to offer, to be frank. Gonna move on now. Largely crash land on a largely uninhabited island. There is a wreckage of a boat and such and luggage and things, and there are creepy people stalking around. Yeah, not gonna stick around to be honest. Uh, seagulls, cool. Another dead shark. Not as cool. Anchor. I think. Oh, a tent. Oh God. Die, naked cannibal. Yes. I win. Uh, hello? Ooh. Do I have a spear now? Cool. Let's just uh, check out the spear really quick. Uh... Uh, see, the FPS shoots up. Uh, okay. So, I have snacks, booze, rocks, cloth. What are they? Batteries? Oh, cool. Um, 
Can't find the spear though. I believe there's a crafting mechanic in this game as well. Which you do from the inventory, but yeah, I'm liking it so far. Oh, ooh, beer. This thing. Covered in blood. Wash it off to avoid infection. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's really cool. 10 out of 10, game of the year, spear fishing. Spear to fish. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I enjoy that a lot. I think this is... Uh, I, I tend to like um, survival games. I was a big fan of Daisy. I got the standalone when that came out on Steam. A uh, big fan of Rust. That was pretty good. Got about over 100 hours in both of those. Um, but yeah, so far... <laughs> so far this one takes the biscuit just for that the spear fishing thing that's so cool um, yeah we have fish it was just really cool how we just on the spear just wriggling around that was really cool yeah, enjoyed it good job uh, obviously oh, those rocks look really good even on low settings now obviously this is uh, the very basic, most early alpha version of a game that you could possibly get away with releasing. So... Hello? So obviously there isn't a lot to it yet, but the basic concept is there. And I like it. Uh, there is a patch, I believe when you fire up the game it gives you a countdown of when the... Net, when the you know when there's going to be a patch. Um, about 15 days we can expect a patch. Okay, so we can chop that down. Pick up some twigs, that's really cool. Okay, so resource harvesting is a thing as well. Evidently. But I suppose if we look in the survival guide, it'll probably tell us what we need. What can I chop down? I'm gonna chop a tree down. Low on energy, eat something. Uh, can do. Uh, give me that. Okay, so the stomach icon must be a hunger level. Uh, that blue bar that's increasing now must be energy. So I guess snacks and sugary drinks and stuff should refill that. That's pretty cool. And I guess the more energy you have, the more effective you are at um, combat, um, escaping, running, gathering materials and stuff, I guess. Um, what can we do? More suitcases. Gimme. Yield your contents unto me. More stuff. Okay. I'm wary about those guys that we saw before. I can't see any more. Mm, maybe they've left us alone for now. Um, don't really want to stop in one area for too long. I get the feeling that's uh, probably not a good idea. Okay. When this game is finished and it's optimized properly, it's going to look absolutely gorgeous on the systems that can run it at uh, high settings. Okay, let's uh, follow the coastline. Following the coastline seems to be a good idea at the minute. It's a little bit foggy. Hmm. Can't really see. Oh, there appears to be a. There's a mountain over there. Okay. Right. So I guess. Oh, there's two. There's a light blue bar. I guess that's like because that decreases when I'm sprinting. 
And then there's a light blue bar next to it. So I guess the light blue is overall energy that decreases steadily as you use the light blue bar? I don't know. Some kind of fatigue meter anyway. Okay, nice wide open coastal space. I appreciate that a lot more than the scary, ominous fog woods of death, doom and destruction. Uh, let's stick to the coast. Sticking to the coast has served me well so far. Um, let's keep going. But can we get across there actually? Is that a thing that can happen? I know we can swim. From uh, some gameplay trailers. Yes. Right. Swim backwards. I believe there is a, mecha uh, a mechanic as well that if you find some mud or something like that, then you can cover yourself in mud and it acts as like camouflage. Which again, it's pretty cool. Following area not available in this build. Oh man. Oh god. Oh god. Hello. Glitchy. But you know, like we said, like I said before at the beginning, it is the most earliest version of Alpha. So I think in the minute we've literally just got this island, but I believe there's a cave somewhere or something like that. Um... So if you are looking to get this game, it's about eleven pounds, I believe, on Steam at the minute. Now that price is going to increase as newer builds and newer versions of the game are released. The same with any early access title on Steam. So if it looks like something you'd be interested in, uh, I would get it now. Oh hey! What are these? Are these like huts or something? Huh. Interesting. Okay, oh, a magazine. Can't carry any more raw fish. I could... Oh. That's ominous. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Well, if I had seen that beforehand, thanks, Poppin. Giving me a false sense of security. Jesus Christ. Let's swiftly move on from the death cages. God. But yeah, if this is something that you'd uh, think you'd fancy playing in the future, pick it up now, because £11 is probably outside of sales, which won't happen until the game is fully released, and that will probably be probably about a year, I would say, a year and a half till full release. Uh, I get it now. Oh. That's gruesome. Were you on the airplane? Okay. Um, oh god. Please don't make me go back into the woods of doom. Although... Some rocks, some cloth, There's some coins apparently. Um, three leaves. Uh, God, I guess we need some more leaves, I think. Let me chop you down. So I guess um, hit detection isn't fantastic at the minute. So I guess it's kind of hit and miss. <laughs> so funny. No, but seriously. Um, yeah. Got something down here. Is that a rock? Just rocks. Uh, okay, birds. 
I did see a really cool thing in the um, uh, launch, well not the launch trailer, but the original trailer where there's like a bird just lands on your finger and just chills. I thought that was really cool. I uh, don't know if that's actually in the game, but um, you know, whether it was just a trailer cinematic or something like that, but uh, we shall probably find out as we play and get better at this game. And yeah, it totally is making me going back into the forest. Oh god. What's that? Rock. Apparently we can't carry any more rocks, so... They're useless to us. Uh, can I chop this tree down? It seems to be hitting it like it could be chopped down. Uh, nothing's happening. I saw in the trailer as well that uh, trees actually fall dynamically when you cut them, so it all depends about whereabouts you're cutting them. There's a floating tree there. It's not floating anymore. So that's another hazard you have to look out for. Falling trees, I guess. Oh god, it's getting worse! He's forcing me to go into these woods. I should have known, really, because it's called the forest. Oh god. Oh great. Fan dabby dozy. More of these hut things. We haven't run into any natives yet. Although we're skating dangerously close to where they hang out, so. Oh wait, no, we did run into that one guy, didn't we? And we killed him. There's another dead guy there. Um, there is nothing for me here. Oh god. Oh Christ, that's creepy as fuck. Do they have cameras on the inside? Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh Christ. Oh, it got dark quickly. Do not want, do not want. The worst thing about this is Actually, no, it's quite light. That's cool. Now, the worst thing about this is, is that I'm recording with Bandicam, and as soon as I hit record, the volume goes right down. So, I cannot hear any audio cues. And I think there's supposed to be one for if you're being watched. So, if we have been watched, and you've heard that audio cue, well, there it is. Otherwise... Okay, so I don't know what dangers the night brings. I mean, the day or time wasn't too bad, I guess. Oh, that's really oh, that's so nice. Oh, it's just me breathing. Oh, fucking hell. Scared the living shit out of me. Um, oh, yeah, that's really nice. Look at that. I mean, the moon's rising ridiculously fast, but still. It looks really pretty, even on the lower settings. It's all a lie, though. Because we're in Hell's fucking swamp. Hell's trashy back garden. And let it get out of hand because he started drinking. Or something. Analogies. I don't know. Um, so I'll take it... We probably can't go over there. Because, oh. We've just gone round in a massive circle, I think. Because that's the mountain. That's Sir Gregor. <laughs> uh, so that means if we keep going this way, we'll probably come across the huts. Again. With the sacrifice tables of doom. But, um, yeah, I think I'm starting to see the memory leak problem. It, um, 
I know my FPS hasn't been amazing so far anyway, but I'm really starting to notice some really bad stuttering. Uh, well, not bad, it's not too bad. But uh, rest assured that that and the ability to save are things that are going to be fixed and added. It is a single player game at the minute. Um, I don't know if they intend to keep it single player or whether the intent... I think I heard somewhere that they wanted to add co-op. So that would be cool. I mean, I don't want it to get to like Rust or DayZ where people just don't play anymore. Well, people do play, obviously. Loads of people play, but what I mean is people who like the survival element of it... Where am I going? Oh, it's water. People who like the survival immersive element of it don't like going online and being instantly shot and killed every time they spawn. So it would be cool if it was had a single player option, it had a co-op option, you know, that'd be really cool. I think that's what's missing from these types of games, the, the ability to play the ability to play a sandbox single player mode in Rust would be amazing. Especially to help you get used to the mechanics of like building and gathering and the layout of the island and such. So I think that'll be a real benefit. I mean even if it was just a short maybe tutorial training mission that was offline just so it didn't throw you straight into it. Whereas this, because it's single player yeah, we've gone round in a circle, we're back at this thing. And we're a bit hungry. But this, because it's single player, apart from the enemies and natural hazards and stuff like that, the AI, you can pretty much just play and sort of... Yeah, just get used to it. That is just grotesque. And some of the things with the cameras in the mouths, the, uh, the heads... Yeah, so we're back at the um, thatch huts things with the bloody sacrifice tables. God, I, especially at night time, I really don't want to go into the forest. Really, really don't. I haven't even done anything yet either, I've just kind of wandered about. Uh, can we even build something? Can we build that? That's a basic fire, I don't want that. Um, shelters. Oh, it's really cool, there's loads of stuff, like loads of indexes and things. Help you find exactly what you need, because I'm guessing sometimes you'll need to do it on the run and you'll need to be quick. Oh, you know what, fuck it, come on. I've had enough dicking around now, I want something exciting to happen. There's a boat down there. What? What on earth was that? So is this supposed to be water? Is this an area that's missing water? Because there's a boat kind of just floating around here. Oh wait, no, I saw it then. There it is. Yeah. Technical difficulties in the forest at the minute, I'm afraid. So yeah, that is um, probably my top tip. If you're going to get this version, and it's the cheapest it's going to be for quite a while. I mean, it's £11, that's it's pretty cheap, usually I see these early access demo version, well not demos, but early access versions of games go for around 17, 20 pounds, I mean I know I bought DayZ for 20 uh, the day it came out, I think it was last November, at the end of November uh, Rust was about 15, so that's a bit better, but oh my god, oh cool I found Tent City is this a thing, is Tent City a thing? Please let me make Tent City a thing. Um, 
Can I use you? Is there anything other than rocks? Oh, that's a rock. Tell me, tell me I can't... Oh, mushrooms. What? Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, God. Fucking hell. Right, do you know what? Let's see if we can make a fire. Um, how do we make a fire? Probably like this. Okay. So, so you can rotate it and stuff. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Really? Oh, I wonder where I'm going to get leaves from. Oh wait, there's more of these things. Okay, I wonder, because I noticed we've been gathering leaves just from wandering around, so... I wonder if that's the case. I'm really cautious now. Because it's night time, and we're right in the middle of the woods. And this seems like a really, really obvious place for enemies to come and looking for us. Uh, okay, so are there any more suitcases to break open? Nope, there's a mushroom. I wonder if it's going to be some... Um, where there's going to be something like you have to know and check your survival guide to know if certain kinds of mushrooms or berries are actually safe to eat. They're just birds. Okay. Any sort of move, I'm just like, what? 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 But it's just animals. So yeah, I wonder if that's a thing. Like, if I pick these mushrooms, and... Uh, I take it they're in my inventory now. Uh, oh no, maybe just to eat them straight away. Okay. But, uh, oh. Oh! I missed it. So that animation is in the game. That's really cool. Um, so I take it... Say, like I was eating those mushrooms. Um, but maybe you could check the survival guide first and see if they were okay to eat or not. I think that would be a really cool feature. Because from what I saw in the trailer, and I'll put a link to the original trailer down in the description below, but what I saw in the trailer, it looked like exactly the kind of survival game that I've wanted for so long since I first heard about Rust and DayZ and things like that. And even Don't Starve. I mean, I still play Don't Starve now. Don't Starve's amazing. Go and play Don't Starve. If you're on the fence about this, definitely go and pick up Don't Starve if you don't have it already. But yeah, I saw the trailer and I thought, yeah, this looks really good. There's um, building shelters and walls and fires and things like that. There's um, gathering, uh, hunger, energy, warmth, infection. All these sort of real life things that you would have to worry about if you were stuck in a survival situation. Which things like DayZ um, and Rust sort of played around with as well. That looks really good. Animations on things look really nice. Um, just noticed these lanterns are still burning. Also forgot I had a torch. Well, that's pleasant. Hey, money. Oh, there's film stuff. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. Here's a thing. Anyone else getting a cannibal holocaust vibe? Holy shit. How did I not even... I put the fire right next to him as well. How did I not even notice that? this? Are these scripts and stuff? Ah, oh, that's really interesting. Right, okay. So, it's daytime again now, I guess. Ah, oh, that was really freaky. Oh, fucking hell, there's another one there. Oh, this is a tribes dude. He is so naked. And now he's in pieces. Oh my god. Did I just... Oh my god. Oh my god. What? No. Give me that. Can I pick up your legs as well? Is that a thing? 
Holy shit. I have this man's entire body in pieces. Oh my god, that's so gruesome. Oh, what could I possibly need those for? Why is that a thing? Ah, some more mushrooms there. Oh, what's that? Ah, suitcase. And okay, so the FPS is getting pretty sloppy now. What's that? Is that a stick? Ah, it's another spear. Cool. If I needed to, could I substitute um, spears for sticks? Is that a thing? Alright, so that's... okay. Well, let's see... oh, berries! Ah, oh, they look yummy. Give me them. Give me some more. It's like, look at that, I mean... That was immediately obvious that there was something that we could pick up and use. So... I guess I kind of like that. That they were really distinctive. But at the same time, it does make... Make survival a bit easier if it's immediately up. Let me look from a distance there. You can immediately see... That these were edible. Or something you could interact with. Okay. So, oh god, yeah, the frame rate's getting really, really bad now. It probably doesn't help that I'm staring straight into a heavily wooded area where it has to render every little bit of grass and leaf uh, and texture and ting and all of that ting. So. you know so I'm considering whether to end it here not really much happened but it was very cool nonetheless we saw a few of them oh that's cool so that hammer icon must be where my fire is I was worried for a second maybe uh, you lose sight of it or something or completely lose it but no that's um, that's pretty good Maybe something like a compass or something like that. Or a map that you could actually mark your location on. Take a note of the coordinates or the uh, direction or something like that with the compass. Because I always think about these uh, realistic scenarios or things that you could put into games. Especially survival games, because the more realistic they are, the better, obviously. And this one looks like it's shaping up to be really, 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 really good. Obviously, mentioned a few times before, it is still the earliest ever alpha version that you could possibly get away with. Um, still pretty good. I believe there is a lot more to the game than I've shown today. Um, there are caves and things to explore. Uh, baddies to fight, but I think for my own benefit we've been lucky to avoid them so far. Because I ain't ready to deal with that shit. I just started playing the game for Christ's sake. But we survived the night, we can see we've got a fire over there so when we gather four leaves then... Oh maybe that's it, because it says gather leaves zero out of four so maybe it won't show me the hammer once I've collected all the leaves? I don't know. Anyway. So, I'll probably come back with more of the forest. Uh, we'll see if we can do any of the other stuff. Um, oh god, there's those legs and things. Do any of the other stuff. Um, I know you can't save at the minute. Hopefully that's something they'll patch in. So I'm going to call it here for today, guys. And I will see you in the next episode. If you like the video, don't forget to comment, link, uh, like, and subscribe. If you want to see more of the forest, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.